Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here, and guess what? The Fed is no longer talking about, talking about tightening. It was only a couple of months ago that the Fed said that they were talking about, talking about tightening in 2023. So the world relaxed and went back to thinking that the Fed would keep interest rates at zero for as long as the eye could see. Now, inflation skyrocketed and uh, everybody but Ger generous Jerome Powell, the Fed head, said that it was just transitory and that nobody should worry about it. Then he and other Fed governors said they would not tighten until the U.S. was at full employment. Oops! About six weeks ago, the Fed aggressively tightened by doing over $1 trillion of reverse repos. And you can see that on another video here on my YouTube channel. The Fed has been adding $120 billion per month in liquidity for years, and the reverse repo operations just wiped out eight months of easing in just a few short weeks. So the Fed has already started to tighten monetary policy. Today, the Wall Street Journal headline reads, Fed officials way ending asset purchases by mid-2022. So the Fed is currently offsetting the asset purchases with their reverse repos. Now they are saying they could actually stop the asset purchases in the middle of next year, which would take the tightening to a new level. And I would think that they would also raise interest rates at the same time that they stop the asset purchases. The big money in investing comes from the big move. The last big move was the massive easing that we saw in 2020 due to COVID. The next big move appears to be tightening starting now and accelerating next year. Right now, tightening a bit, but also some loosening so it's kind of mixed bag right now but what they're saying is middle of next year tightening no mixed bag anymore there's still some slack in the labor market so the fed may want to keep easing for well until next year uh and the and this so the there's not a lot of slack though inflation is getting worse not better it doesn't look transitory to me but you know i'm not a fed governor at least i don't think so the fed should be tightening monetary policy right now because of inflation because the economy is back to where it was pre-covid and because and because employment's basically back to the same level now but the tightening will also cause the stock market to drop perhaps into a bear market and this would be next year. And the economy is fragile also, particularly if the Biden administration raises taxes. So we investors have to start to change our trading strategy. The stock market is in a bull market right now, but a struggling bull market. And the bull market is probably closer to the end of the bull market than the beginning, which was over a year ago. Fed actions are starting to create the conditions for the next bear market. And right now, my best guess is still late summer, early fall of next year. Not making an official call yet, but the way they're talking about tightening in the middle of next year, let's say that's June of next year, could cause a bear market as early as July of next year. Now, the best way, of course, to keep on top of all this is to subscribe to my newsletter, Wall Street Winners. Go to WSW2021.com. It's in the description below. Of course, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and tell me if you think what the Fed is doing is right. Tell me if, when you think there's going to be another bear market or recession. Put it down in the comments. Let's get a debate going. Talk to you later.